Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Dave TV. Thanks for tuning in. We are a live television program that is centered out of East Austin. If you want to come see us, we have a couple seats left. Nick brought crew, looks like. Yeah, maybe they brought Nick. Yeah, could probably be the case. Yeah. Uh, I had to rethink that. So thanks for tuning in. We have a live set today from uh, Poppy Fields in the house. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for coming to do the show. We've been trying to line this up for a while, and finally the stars align, and here we are. So we are a mostly Texas music program, but we do lots of stuff. So any bands you can't see anywhere else, we're going to try to bring them to you. And everybody that works on this show is volunteered and we slave today patrick nathan southern and the uh quitter john moore he's uh <laughs> and uh thanks to all the folks who came out and watched the show daniel's coming out today i think he might be webcasting today so that's awesome on the facebook's look us up otherwise dave tv.org slash live to stream it and uh, if you're in Austin and you want to check this out live, it's Channel 10, or if you verse, it's Channel 99, and you got to do some other stuff. But I don't know a lot of people who watch TV anymore, so thank you all for playing a TV show. Uh, tell me about what's going on with Poppy Fields. I understand you have uh, shows and a release and all sorts of cool things going on. We do have a show booked at Dozen Street. Yeah, June 7th. June 7th. Um, we also have an album out on Bandcamp. That's awesome. So is it like poppyfield.bandcamp or what? Yeah, it's poppyfieldsatx.bandcamp.com. And Dozen Street is an awesome place to play. Do you guys know any of the other bands that are playing with you at Dozen Street that uh, night? My band is actually playing Jill and Tonic. Um, it's going to be from like 9 to 10 or 9 to 11. So, yeah. I love it. Jill and Tonic. That's great. <laughs> um, so do you guys play often together? Every chance we get. Yeah. we did a tour we did a tour in december um all over everywhere we could go of course in the time we did but that was fun yeah awesome so uh, what do you think about opportunities to play around here do you just do austin you getting out and doing the san marcus circle where do you guys mostly play um well we're we've been doing the austin circle and poppy and especially some of some of our other friends do the san marcus circle but i think finding smaller towns that you know have actually a need for performing musicians austin is a little saturated and it's kind of hard to book gigs and you know get followers whereas we've been we went on tour and we had more filled shows in small towns that where nobody knew us than like austin so mm -hmm. it's it's kind of a teeter-totter we're truly spoiled here, in my opinion. Now, I, I take that for the best and just say that, hey, I've always got a lot of choices to see people. But when uh, you look at the folks in the crowd, they're either outside smoking or talking a lot during people's set or um, polite applause. When I go to San Marcos and see a show, those people are at an event. Those people are like, whoa! <laughs> you know, it's like it doesn't matter. They lose it. They have a good time. And that's one of the differences I see. And uh, I think it's great that there's places in both to play. But there's definitely different vibes in both. Would, would you agree? I definitely agree to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Entirely. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, you guys have a, a bunch of tunes for us. Uh, is this going to be some of the older stuff, some of the latest CD? What do we got today? These songs are going to be um, everywhere from four years back to current, and we'll also be releasing a brand new song today Yay. on Day of TV. Awesome. Well, we're honored, and uh, I appreciate you coming to play. It's Poppy Fields for those of you at home, and uh, DaveTV.org, if you want to hear it again, let us know, and we'll be streaming it there all week long on the homepage, and then, of course, it'll reruns in the future weeks. So Y'all stick around. Nathan and I are going to uh, be chatting it up after the ladies finish the set, and we're going to play some cool videos and talk about things that will make your mom a blush, I promise. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. It's Poppy Fields on Dave TV. start off with a song that's on our album's 11 minutes and 10 seconds. The song is called Standing in Fear.
one of the first songs that was written under the name Poppy Fields. It was not my intention for you to fall for me. These games I am playing aren't necessary. for a water break. <laughs> All the water break.
16 years so So good.
if you guys all brought your tissues. It's called Breathe. Uh, give me just a second to like catch my breath. <laughs> oh, I'll <laughs> talk. This is, this is a much more... Oh, see, we have wonky things here. It's a much more up-tempo song. We wrote it... Well, Poppy wrote it on tour, and then I played along. So it's kind of developed when we went on tour. So it's actually kind of a debut in and of itself as well. Yeah, I'd say it hit puberty on tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
I breathe. I 
so much for coming out and for being here and for just being awesome people. We got one more song for you. 
uh, we're actually will be releasing this uh, as a single by the end of the year. This is the new one. Oh my god! What? Yeah. The song is called June Bugs. Sorry. Yeah, we haven't played this for anybody else. So you guys are lucky. You can hear the mess ups. Okay. One, two, three. It's fucking cold out, and I can't sleep. No drive to work. Who needs to eat? The sun's not come out in days, it seems. Washed out in ways I can't explain. The June bugs in the air, they stick in my hair to keep them out, but I don't. living in the old folks home together together front of these shirts they withdrew mumbling like a couple of fools together together all our friends are gonna be dead new fake friends in our heads together together Staring at the TV, holding hands, going to the bathroom in our pants together. Together, well, 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 I'm gonna love you till your dying day. I'm gonna love you till you're old and gray. Deaf and dumb and come what may. Together, together, together. Forever. We'll share dementia, rage and curse. Get beaten up by the nurse together. Together. They'll take away our keys. We can't drive cars. We'll be entertained by dancing with the stars together. Together. Hey, parenthetically, that's not a judgment call. I'm not saying if you watch Dancing with the Stars, you're a fucking idiot. No, I'm not. Why? Did it sound like that at home? Uh, did that I was calling you a lobotomized cretin if you watched it because I... I did, but it sounded like I say you had an IQ of a lettuce leaf, but because that's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> Even though we're old, I love you hard. You'll bury my Viagra out in the yard together. Together. Our kids spending all we save. He can't wait to see us in our grave together. I'm a realist, people. Together, well, 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 I'm gonna love you till your dying day. Gonna love you till you're old and gray. Deaf and dumb and come what may. Together, I'm gonna love you till your bones are weak. I'm gonna love you till the veins show through your cheek. 
tell a story takes a week together 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 forever Woo. together forever yeah. all right let's speed it up a notch oh man that was a slow one now for the fastest song we know Hey, you're watching Dave TV. Thanks for uh, checking us out. We do lots of music you can't hear or see anywhere but here because it's live performances. That's right, as you see it. So that makes it fun, yeah? Where did God go? 
he is above you at all times looking down on you, young man, going, I just... <laughs> I know I don't make mistakes, but I that know. one mm. Joe guy. He's going to get it. He's going to get it together. You watch. He's pulling for him. You know? Yeah, well, Joe's pulling. Hey, dude, this, was, this is live. And what's cool is uh, Dave um, has been doing this a long time, and he's the brains of this operation. This show called Dave TV, um, you might have seen us from a long time ago, but he was talking about the art of, of live TV. Uh, uh, there's a lot of stress that goes with having the bands come in, having people walk out of the studio, us coming in, taking over the studio, we're talking lights. We're, I mean, this is just a bare room. And does it even matter going live? What do you guys think? I think live TV is kick ass. I think the fact that it's on, but we could be relaxed, have a couple of bands come in, record it the way that uh, the big people do for no stress, you know? What do you guys think? Is it worth live TV? You know, I, I, I think it is. Hmm. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, I don't know what the difference is other than saying, okay, at this time you have to make it happen because the live element to me was viewers taking part in uh, the live program. And we've tried to take live calls and know it's physically possible. It doesn't really happen. And You were just, uh, you were just saying this um, at the very beginning. This is a live music program and then the question i heard kind of come up i don't know i was it under on kind of under breath was uh do people even watch live tv anymore do you watch live tv are you watching this on a stream are you um uh checking out dave's page at dave tv.org or are you um uh, you know, like watching the YouTube reruns? I mean, how do y'all do it? Is it is, you I know? posted right before we went on the air on my Facebook as like a check. I haven't looked at it yet and put the link for the live link. Mm -hmm. And uh, Can you tell you know, how many people hit that live link? Yeah, I haven't looked though, like say yet, so it, it hasn't been very many live because uh, it's a weird time. Sunday afternoons, 5 o'clock. Uh, it's the only time that Austin Public allows folks to do TV is on certain days, like Sunday through Wednesday. I can't do it on Saturday anymore, so wow. I have to do it on Sunday. Yeah. I can't do it after midnight. So the live element has been taken away due to the restrictions at Austin Public, basically. Right. So then also you were talking about uh, this show has been uh, uh, for the uh, – we've been doing this since 1942. Yeah. And, uh, 1990 to be exact. Right, but. right. And so since 1942, it has been on Saturday at midnight, and that's when everybody in, in the day uh, when everybody talks about this scene – that was going on, everybody would go play uh, the bars and, and they would go support their friends and then they'd come home and they'd watch their friends be idiots on television and it was just this big community thing. Do you think the show would be better than, uh, I'm, and these are questions that I'm asking you guys, do you think the show would be better at our regular time slot on, on midnight? Because there are ways to do that, but then you're talking about a pre-taped show and then Dave and I maybe going out and getting together and laughing at your band publicly live and then cutting it, those in to in between and putting a show together that way you know which i prefer well i think the saturday at midnight is a great idea you know because it's just saturday at midnight either you're out and about and just coming in or you're a true balls to the wall uh fan and you're out there till two or three o'clock uh or uh, saturday at midnight is, is beautiful but um uh, we're here however dave calls it I'm here to do it, and we've got people like uh, Daniel. We've got people like um, uh, everybody here that, that, that helped out was, was great. Dave knows them all by name. Mm -hmm. I thank all of the folks for volunteering to come help wrap cables, pull camera, whatever. Southern's here today. Patrick's back there. John Moore's here. Of course, you mentioned Daniel and, and you.
This is the Rizza, the Jizza, the Ghost Face Killer. I'm the old dirty bastard. We call him music days and days. You're watching Dave TV. song's called Bad Bad Woman. You can find it on the album called Killing My Kind.
The other thing about it that makes it difficult to do what I'd prefer to kind of do, which is tape a couple bands and edit it and go out and make fun of you and face to face, um, is that uh, essentially at Austin Public, more rules they have include those that will not allow you to reserve this space on a weekly basis unless you're associating it with a live program, which you can only do on certain days. So it's not like I could choose to not go live and then get the same slot in here to expect a crew of people to show up and put that into their life or a band and be able to, I got to like see what's available, book it a month in advance, and then hope that I can get people to come along that day. That, that sounds like a lot of work. And or you, I know there's a lot of footage that goes like unseen, untalked about, unthought, just the bands know about it. And, Maybe putting together a show like that, and you and I come be idiots, and you you uh, say, well, shut up, Nathan, you know what you're talking about. And then I look at the camera and go, hey, this is Dave TV. So I was talking to Patrick actually earlier about that kind of a thought where once uh, John quits on us and we have to retune oh, the machine again. Oh, man, what's up with all the quitters? So we have to retune the machine. If we can get this thing going <laughs> at 420-ish, magically, 425, then pre-tape like a half-hour set. And then at the top of the hour when we come on, you and I talk, and I'll play clips, and then the next week that band we taped comes into the clips that we play. So if we can get there, we may try that, because ideally this uh, going live at a certain time hasn't benefited us in a lot of ways at this five o'clock slot is my opinion although live tv is a brilliant thing the restrictions and and uh i guess cost of business that does or doesn't pay someone's wages to keep a building open after midnight reflect how much we can do i've heard every angle of it i just i'm going to want what i want i just can't exactly make those things happen right. so well there is an excitement to live tv mm -hmm. and we've always done that uh, been under the gun uh, if it doesn't work, then you're going to go out there with your car uh, uh, with one with three tires, you know. Uh, but uh, there is an element to that, an excitement to, hey, motherfuckers, it's 5.02, it's, it's, you're on. You know what I mean? It's like uh, either shit or get off the pot because right then it's time to go. And it's not time to, to freak out. It's time to bring your A game, you know? You know, there was this music television program back in the 90s on Saturdays. And one time I was watching it and these strippers came up at midnight when they were on. And I don't know what that was about, but then it faded to black and then the music show came on. I wonder if that had anything to do with each other. I think that was great. Uh, I remember that exact Queensryche time that that happened. <laughs> Roxanne. And, uh, I don't know how I know her name. Uh, well, because she was famous and she just, had just got through doing the penthouse. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like we know somebody, you know, that, that's naked in a magazine. I don't know why that was so special, but it was so special. But let's bring this back around, Dave. Uh, this is Dave. My name is Nathan. We are a program called uh, Dave TV. We bring you, or sh Dave brings you uh, a lot, a lot of stuff that you won't see anywhere else um, because you would rather your friends go film it for you so you can mm -hmm. stay at home. Uh, we try and we do support the Austin music scene. We have both made sacrifices in our life to push the Austin music scene. Um, I, I, plus, I get to stay at home and be in bed, which is great, but that's what this is about. It's our passion together for a very, very long time um, is to make sure that not only is there enough shit talking going on, but that that, that shit talking brings change or good to the community. We try and bring bands that you normally don't hear of to interact with other bands that you normally don't hear of. And then it's just a big melting pot of what we can do together. So that's what we've been doing since 1947 mm -hmm. together. 42. Since 1942. <laughs> I got it wrong. Since 1942. And uh, man, we hope you dig it. However you decide to watch it, we appreciate you, man. But uh, if you'd like to let us know, it is an interesting topic. If you've watched the program, let us know you saw this. First of all, that's a plus, whether it was live, pre-taped, shared, wow. internet, TV, whatever. Thank you. 
but uh, capsize at yahoo.com. So that's our email, capsize at yahoo.com. Okay. And davetv.org has the email across the top, as well as my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, <laughs> everything I it takes to reach us. I just don't know how to get us, a hold so. of you. Yeah. I just don't know how to get a hold of you. Not on the phone. <laughs> right. I, that's the truth. Uh, capsize, C A P Z E Y E Z. And uh, Dave, it's CAP for the capital of Texas. ZZ for ZZ Top, and then I, because he's a fag. That's right. You got it. Perfect. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. This one's called If You Ask Me. Long, long way to go. This might sound a little bit hypocritical, considering what I just said. But I still hate the world around me. But it's your world too. You've got the right to exist. I guess most we'll people do. And I guess most we'll people do. I guess most we'll people do. You ask me if I believed in ghosts, I would tell you. Fuck, Fuck yeah, I believe in ghosts. ghosts. Yep. They haunt me all the time. And some of them were my friends. Some of them were my friends. You ask me what I thought about the APD, I would tell you, fuck, fuck the, the police. police! Fuck them! All of them. That's just fucking puppets. That's just fucking puppets, paid to fill a quota. And if you ask me what I thought about low spurs, I would tell you, Timmy's still the fucking greatest. But it's still a distraction. It's all a distraction. From what really matters. From your life. And your shitty bullshit minimum wage slay motherfucking job I'm gonna see out for the cage of the dark, and you're dead from above me. I'm gonna try to a long, long night. I'm gonna be 
Hey man, uh, I, I want to thank everybody. Like straight up, I, it, we've been going out trying to support as much as possible. There's so much good stuff happening in the music scene, especially the heavy metal uh, um, side of Austin, Texas, seems to be buzzing. You know that Dude, okay. Shadow Spectrum CD released last night with Blackthorn Halo, two new songs. It was a great gig. Overthrow, uh, Stage the Massacre, uh, Doctor Sleep closed it out. Texas Miss representing the metal last night for real. But it seems the general consensus that Jim at Texas Miss seems to be either like on the verge of fucking blowing that shit up. Or he's going to give it the hell of a fight trying. 
You Dude, know? The, he's the king, man. He is uh, bleeding tears of blood. I promise. Yeah, he's yeah. working hard, man. And that's a great place for the uh, metal. I don't want to pinhole anything, but it's a really good place for metal, honestly. Uh, you can do a lot of other stuff there. I went to a great punk rock show there last week as well. But that seems to be the next generation of the backroom vibe, to be frank. Right, and right. That's awesome. Right. You, know? And, you know, kick butt. We, we were there at, uh, and I want to say, man, Will fucking stepped up proper in Worm Suicide. Worm Suicide that night killed it, man, you know? and that was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, The hip-hop uh, night and turned into a mosh pit and first song. What's funny is watching all you hip-hop hip -hop cats, I can't even say it, I, 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 all you disco dudes trying to... Uh, um, slam dance and bang your head you don't have to do it from your hips and fuck and you know and hurl yourself down it's more like a you know how you got that lean that's kind of like what metal is man you just gotta it's you know don't force it you're gonna hurt something man but uh, also uh um i ended up trying to figure out how to put on a hell of a show and everybody um uh, get taken care of that are in the bands uh, not only that, but take care of my band at the same time. And so I became the promoter of a show. Nice. And um, what they did, uh, we decided to try this experiment, because that's the way we used to do it in the old days. You find a spot, you get tickets, your best band friends, and you kick ass, you get the security, you you get the door guy, you, you pay the production, you do everything that it takes to do it, and then you put on the show certain bands won't sell tickets well are there some members won't i, I found you know but we did that at dirty dog and i want to thank um everybody who came out and supported heavy metal that night it was a great fucking night um it, it was i, mean, I want to thank the bands shadow ministry they the tom coin um hell of a when when you talk about rock and roll business he's old school and he knows so he is you see him man his brain's always working you know and you had monty Pittman on guitar from madonna's band he played with prong and got out there and wailed it one man show style you know and then there's some guitar players out there who've been waiting for bands you know and I, i've got one thing to say man pre-tape kick ass shut up Get out there and kick some ass, man. Monty Pittman did it, and it went it went off. And even if that was weird at first, his guitar playing shut everybody fucking up, you know. And that was it was. Igniter killed and everybody Igniter, early, right? Igniter, yeah. What's crazy is Billy Chainsaw had actually had they're they're working on the from this is what he, something fell on his foot like a hammer or a big giant saw, and he played that show where it just happened that he had. Three broken toes on his, and he still went up there and kicked some fucking ass. It was it was a great show, and then my boys and dancer just couldn't be more proud of them. Um, it's crazy being 53 and still playing and trying to scream like that, you know. Great show it was, man. It was yeah. a big one coming out in Garfield. This dude's putting together this uh, house show with, like, Hell Fury and just all the punk and metal bands. Mostly punk, but there's a metal -y vibe going on, too. So uh, hopefully we'll see and hear some of that. I don't know if I'll get to go out. Depends on work. But uh, if y'all yeah. go to that Garfield show... It's the weekend after Mother's Day. It's it's a mother of a lineup. Let me know. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Hell Fury just did uh, Cobracast. So um, if you want to know more about those guys, um, that might be a spot. So he had Fury, and then he had Hell Fury. There's a joke in there, folks, but I just saw it in Dave's eyes. He was waiting for me to yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> Carrot peanut butter. No, 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 no. Thanks for watching Dave TV, you guys. That's it. John, let's play some videos, man. We talk Woo! a lot. Thanks, Nathan. Love See you, you guys. Yeah. Ow! Hit!
Hey, what's up guys? We're Mad Martigan. You're watching Dave TV.
But honey, I can only play for so
Can you? 